the stream running smoothly. And also, please, for confidentiality purposes, please do not ask questions specific to your student. We would be happy to talk to you about your specific student, but you will need to schedule a time for a phone call or an individual Google Meet um, with the teacher or teachers. If you have questions during the introduction portion, you can write those in the chat. Everyone who is currently logged in will be able to read what you write. So again, try not to bring up specific questions to your student. Um, and we will answer these questions in the question and answer portion. And then during the question and answer portion, if you have a question that you would like to ask verbally, please just type the word bait into the chat. That will let us know that you have a question and we will ask you to unmute your mic and speak. Um, this just keeps people from talking over each other. So as people are joining, because I see a few have hopped in, um, please make sure that your audio is muted and that um, your video is turned off. This just keeps the stream running smoothly. And again, if you have not already done so, please type your name in the chat so that we can make sure to call you by your correct name and also um, for school accountability purposes. I just want to let everyone know before we get started that the meeting is being recorded. So if you miss anything or have to sign out early, this will all be recorded um, and we will stop recording at the question answer portion um, and then it will be posted in Google Classrooms for you so that you can access um, and reference back to the information. All right, um, I am going to turn the mic over to Dr. Weathers, um, our seventh grade team leader, and she'll get us started. Welcome everyone. We're so glad that you are here. We'll uh, go ahead and begin and um, uh, share with you. Uh, we have a wonderful slide here, so we'll go ahead and begin. Meet the teachers. And so, as you can see, that's me, Dr. Weathers. Um, I teach seventh grade math here at Bate Middle School. This is year 16 for me, and I know I look like I, you know, still should be in a college or something like that. Thank you for that compliment. But I have been teaching for quite some time. I love what I do. And we're off to a wonderful start with the virtual learning. There's a lot of transitions that have taken place. So, certainly appreciate you parents being very supportive uh, with us and your collaboration. Uh, in the success of our students. And so uh, I, I received my bachelor's degree from EKU. I received my master's and my rank one from the University of the Cumberlands. And in 2019, I received my doctoral degree in school leadership. So I'm certainly excited about my future. And thank you all so much for joining uh, today. And as always, is there anything that we can do for you, please let us know. As I said, I am the seventh grade team lead, and I'm certainly here for you with any questions or concerns that you may have. Thanks for joining us on tonight. Uh, I am Jessica Mobley. I teach literature studies. Um, this class was formerly called language arts. So if your student talks about language arts, that is my class uh, now called literature studies. And this is my eighth year teaching um, and my fifth year at BAIT. I got my bachelor's in secondary English education at the University of Kentucky, and I am a level two Google certified educator. Um, what that basically means is that for the staff in the building, they come can come to me if they need help with um, any of our Google tools. And also your students should feel free to email me if they're having any trouble with accessing anything related to Google, I can probably help them out with that. I do teach literature studies. And so right now in my class, we're reading this book called On the Horizon. This is a book of poetry by Lois Lowry. You may be familiar with Lois Lowry for writing um, the book Number the Stars and The Giver. Um, this is her first adventure into poetry and it is um, about World War II, specifically the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the atomic bombing of Hiroshima in Japan. And so the students are really enjoying going through this book. I think they're enjoying it. I hope that they are. 
and um, I'm very much enjoying going through it with them. So that is what we are working on in my class right now. And um, I'm just very excited to, to keep going and to get to know you guys and your students a little better. Okay, I am Mr. Gully. I teach social studies for the seventh grade team. Uh, one thing Ms. Mobley left out is that starting this year, they actually moved her classroom from where she was to where she is now right next door to me. And the reason they did that is because she is a Google certified educator and she's her primary job here at Bait is to answer my questions about Google. So certainly appreciate that. Uh, this is my 21st year at Bait Middle School, my 24th year teaching overall. So I did start teaching when I was three years old. Uh, I do have my, my bachelor's degree from a small college in New York called Dowling College. I have my a master's degree from EKU, and I earned my National Board Teaching Certification in Social Studies back in 2006 with a successful renewal eight years later. And I earned both of those in the first attempt, which is, which is not something that always happens. Uh, the content for seventh grade social studies this year is essentially a study of the Middle Ages around the world, uh, roughly the year 600 CE through the year 1600 CE. And so, uh, Middle Ages is not just medieval times in Europe, which is what you and I probably learned about in school, but it's really um, a phenomenon that existed all around the world. So we are looking at Europe, but we're also going to be looking at the history of Africa during the Middle Ages and the history of Eastern Asia during the Middle Ages and Western Asia during the Middle Ages. We'll look at the Americas and we'll look ultimately at how all these different civilizations kind of intersected and met with each other. We're going to look at trade and all different kinds of kinds of things like that. So truly by the end of the school year, the kids really will have developed a global perspective of history over the course of the Middle Ages. Uh, it's been a wonderful year so far. We've been having a lot of challenges, unfortunately, due to some of the events outside, the pandemic and so forth, but it really has been a wonderful experience thus far. I've thoroughly enjoyed getting to know some of the students and uh, it's, been real, it's been thoroughly enjoyable. I look forward to getting to know uh, all of you. And in some cases, I already know you because <laughs> Years ago, I may have had you as a student, so it's good to see you all again. But that is um, where we stand, and we'll now turn it over to our next member of the team. Hi, friends. I'm the next member of the team. Oh, that's echoey. Hang on. Um, I'm Miss Whittemore. I teach um, science here. Um, this is my fourth year teaching, but my second year at Bait. Uh, I actually got my bachelor's degree in agriculture education, and I taught at the high school level for a year. I also have my master's degree in career and technical education. I'm about 12 hours away from having my second master's in um, school counseling. Um, I'm also a certified mental health technician and le level one Google certified. Um, I really like having certifications. Um, so. There's that. Um, I'm really excited to work with all of your kids this year. I've been having a great time in science class with them, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the year. Okay, hello, I'm Miss Eisen. I'll try to be quick because my two-year-old is outside my door trying to get in right now. So um, I actually teach informational studies this year, formerly known as reading and writing. Um, some of my former students from last year are now my students again, so that is exciting. Um, it's my 12th year teaching, which is crazy to me because I, I don't feel like I've been teaching that long. But I did start at EKU. I got my psychology degree. Um, I actually started substitute teaching after I taught psychology to, at a college. I subbed for K-12, loved it, and decided to keep teaching that grade. So now I'm certified five to nine in social studies and ELA. So um, thanks to Moorhead. And same as other teachers before, if you have any questions, email me. We're going to try to help get your kids, kiddos through this this year. I know it's harder being virtual, but we can still do it together. So if you have any questions, just contact me. Thank you. So I'll go ahead and share. Uh, Mr. Ebert uh, was not able to be here with us tonight. Uh, however, he teaches special education. He's a part of the seventh grade team. Uh, he started, let me see, he has started his 13th year of teaching this year. 
Um, this is his eighth year of teaching at um, John W. Bay Middle School. He received his associate's degree from St. Catherine College, his bachelor's degree from EKU, and his master's degree from Georgetown College. So uh, if you are ever on Google Meets with some of your students, you will see Mr. Ebert there. He collaborates with us and does a wonderful job uh, helping our students to make sure they stay caught up, to make sure they understand, fix our technology problems. He is certainly an asset to our team. I also wanted to mention as well in math right now, we are finishing up our unit on proportional relationships. Uh, we had a quiz today, so please make sure you ask your your child if they have completed that and if not please do so by midnight but many of them have and i'm so proud of them for doing that it's a google it's on a google form there's only four questions uh five points a piece 20 points and so they have done really well with this unit so uh after we wrap up this unit we will move on to expressions equations and inequalities Dr. Weathers, before we continue, um, I would like to also mention, um, she's not in this presentation, but many of your students may also be working with Mrs. Paycheck. Um, Mrs. Paycheck is new to bait this year, um, and she is the wife of the infamous Mr. Paycheck, whom you may have heard of from your students last year, um, who teaches sixth grade, um, and she works uh, with special education students, primarily in the area of language arts. And so she also works with us, but she, works with multiple grade levels and so she is not in our presentation. I do apologize that we left her out. All right, thank you for that, uh, Ms. Mobile. Yeah, for sure, we, we certainly uh, thank, we're very thankful to have uh, Ms. Paycheck on board with us this year, her first year here, and we're so excited about that. So as you can see here on the slide, contact information, our emails are here. You can also find those emails uh, on our webpage. Um, you can just see there, it's it's gonna be our first name, dot last name, at danville.kyschools.us. And once again, like Ms. Trent said, yeah, this video, this Google Meet recording, excuse me, will be uploaded to our Google Classroom, so you may be able to go back and reference our email in the event that you would need to contact us. And once again, uh, contact information um, here at school. Um, this is our, our information, our extensions here. We are virtual, and so um, sometimes we are working at home. Uh, however, um, I would say the best way to contact us through this virtual uh, learning process is through email because sometimes we may not be in the building and some individuals may not check their um, school um, voicemails as often as they would uh, emails. We'll be checking our emails throughout the day. So I would encourage you to email us, uh, but in the event you do need to speak with us and you would like to call, please do so and you can reach us by our extension there. So I think that's all for our presentation there. Uh, we are gonna have a question and answering session after this general information here. So I think we will probably end the recording. Ms. Trent, are you still here? And then we will go ahead and 